guess it really doesn't make that much sense for me to come in here when I'm in a good mood, right? I mean, I'm supposed to be talking about my problems, and it's not just going to make me depressed all over again. Well, we can talk about whatever you like, good or bad. You know, this is your time. I don't know. I guess I just don't know what to talk about. Well, why don't we pick up where we left off last week? I believe we were discussing your <clears throat> suicide attempt. First of all, I didn't attempt shit. I was thinking about it. You told me you were standing on the railing of a bridge, thinking about jumping. I'd call that an attempt. Okay, I guess I might have exaggerated a little for dramatic effect. I was really standing on the sidewalk just smoking a cigarette. What were you thinking about, specifically, if you don't mind my asking? Are you trying to depress me more? I'm just trying to, uh, understand. Alright. I guess I was just thinking about logistics. Logistics? Meaning what? Like weighing the pros and cons of each method. Like jumping. It'd be easy. And honestly kind of fun to fly through the air for a couple of seconds. I just can't help but think I definitely regret it right before I hit the river. There's just too much hang time involved. Well, regret is an integral part of suicide, I'm afraid. That's why it might be better to go with a bullet. It's too fast to have too much regret about. Right. I don't know, I... The other methods just... They seem so painful, really. Sitting there choking, hanging to death? Fuck that! I don't know. Sometimes when I'm in the shower, just thinking about my old flames and my lack of future, I just want to take that razor and just fucking. What? Why are you shaking your head? Everyone thinks that you cut across the wrist. Because they do that all the time in the movies. But that's bullshit. You want to cut down, not across. And if you cut across, you're just going to end up in the hospital having to explain yourself to everyone the next day. But if you cut down the vein, that's how you get the job done. That'll get you some good blood loss going. Are you seriously trying to give me suicide advice? Well, assisted suicide's been legal in Oregon since 1993. Jesus Christ, dude. Are you feeling all right? We never seem to talk about you that much in these sessions. I'm just giving you the facts, Joshua. Life's not for everyone. <laughs> I see now. You're just a fucking asshole. I'm just giving you your options. Did I mention that my brother's a mortician? What the fuck? We offer a full service. You know, we can make it fast or slow, painful or peaceful. It's entirely up to you. Y you know what? I'ma uh, get the fuck out of here.
I was just testing you. You didn't think I was serious, right? I'm leaving. Fine. But remember, if you tell anyone about this, well, life isn't for everyone, right? And if you don't care about your own, just think about your family. Everything you're leaving behind, they might just end up buried right alongside you. Metaphorically, obviously. R right. Good. Good talk, Doc. Well, you can't win them all. <laughs>